This is the 2019 Cadillac XT4. It is Cadillac's entry level uh, in both price and size SUV. There are three trim levels to this vehicle. MSRP starts at $34,795 up to $39,920. There are full LED headlights as well as full LED tail lights. There is a power lift gate, front and rear park assist. 18 and 20 inch wheels are available. This is powered by a two liter direct injection uh, turbo four cylinder engine with 237 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, nine speed automatic transmission. Wheelbase is 109.4 inches. Ground clearance is 6.77 inches and maximum cargo with the second row seats folded down is 48.9 cubic feet. See the power lift gate. See the backup camera, the rear parking assist, the LED tail lights. And again, like I said, this is a two liter turbo. Ice tire wheel package. I like the cladding around the uh, wheels and along the bottom gives it an offsets the vehicle nicely and I like the gloss black trim mesh looking grill with the Cadillac uh, logo on the front. This is the 2019 Cadillac XT4. All right so here we are on the inside of the 2019 Cadillac XT4. A little shot of the door here. We have power folding mirrors up here. Otherwise standard controls. I have an interesting wrap coming up the handle here but Quite comfortable, all very soft touched. Here you have, you can set the, your how far your real tailgate, tailgate opens up, depending on how tall your garage is. You got some analog gauges with a, with a fairly large driver instrument display. The instrument, the digital display does wrap around for a ways. This is, you know, it isn't a rectangle. It, it comes around the, the curve of the, line, of the gauges, which is really nice. Obviously the gas and the uh, heat, engine temperature controls there are partially digital since there's no actual gauge, uh, a physical needle or anything right there. Okay, um, One of the really neat things about this car and unique things about the X-T4 is that it has, and Cadillac uh, uh, you know, started this a while ago, but I think they've really upped their game here. Um, you know, if it senses danger, the seat vibrates. It's called a, you know, the haptic seat. Um, and but now Cadillac has, has changed it a little bit and upped its game by if the danger the perceived danger is on your right side it'll right vibrate the right side of your seat if the danger is on the left it'll vibrate the left side of your seat and if the danger is in front of you um, or all around you it'll vibrate the entire seat so I just think that that that's just really unique and really cool of course it has auto braking in case of an accident to avoid a collision uh, we have uh, quite a bit of leg room in the rear, and I'll step back there in a minute. Um, we have this uh, rotary controller down here for the, for the infotainment system. Okay. You can do custom presets, uh, custom profiles, um, much like we saw in a couple of other vehicles where you know you step in and everything is, uh, with a push of a button, everything is set to you or it's set to your key fob. So even as you open your door, all your mirrors, your heat, your stereo, all that stuff is adjusted. Um, to the settings that are associated with that key fob. Okay, you have an HD rear vision uh, um, camera mirror right here. It's just a little flick of the switch here, but it does have a high definition rear view mirror uh, camera in the mirror. Um, and that is really nice. We saw that, uh, if you wanna see that, look at our review of the Toyota RAV um, that had the same type of digital mirror. Uh, I'm assuming this will be the same. Okay, and um, Huh. The other feature about this that I thought was really um, upscaled the uh, the vehicle was you can, uh, through an arrangement with Amazon, and I'm not sure what all the steps are you need to take, but Amazon can deliver packages to your car. So if you worry about them just being at home and are out in the cold or in the rain or something, you can actually have them delivered to your vehicle. Down here, you've got an SD card slot in two different USBs, a new one and an older one, and then, of course, a 12-volt outlet. This kind of just comes back here. Nice, soft push, okay? 
Down here, you have all your media controls. You have your traction control, your auto uh, auto braking. So if you're in traffic, like you come to a stop. It's not a cruise control thing, but if you come to a stop, you just put your foot on the brake and then let it go and the car stays in brake. Uh, stays, stays stopped until you uh, push the gas. And then these are your different modes for driving. Let's take a look at the uh, center console. Okay, here you do have your wireless phone charging right in here. Okay, you do have a fairly deep uh, storage area along with another 12 volt outlet back there and then a removable sliding tray okay, so here's the back door and the same design as the front door with this little wrap around i didn't notice this but this is both front and back and all, all the doors have this little carbon fiber uh, trim piece right in here all right so now uh now i'm back here and the, the seat is uh, exactly where I left it, you can tell I do not have as much room here. It's a little, a little more crowded in this vehicle. Um, but then again, to be fair, I couldn't adjust the front seat. Um, but anyways, it's a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, air vent controls, heated seats, again, dual USB outlets, one new, one old. And then over here, um, I love the Cadillacs put their little chrome emblem right in there I, I i wonder i'm i'm guessing since it probably never bothers anyone but if you had a smaller kid i wonder if that would wear on their head i don't know i'm too tall to know that so pull the center armrest down you got dual cup holders right here the seats themselves are are, are very are very comfortable they're leather um but very very comfortable 